missing these last second shots. I'm like, what? <laughs> now, this is what Kyrie said. Now, I had a little meme, and everybody, I mean, there have been a lot of players that's been mm -hmm. jumping on my little timeline about my meme. Yep. But this is what Kyrie said. Kyrie mm -hmm. said, this is the first time in my career I can look down there and be like, that mofo can make the shot, too. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. That's what Kyrie he said. said. That. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And it, I wasn't talking about LeBron. Bro, you played with LeBron for three years. Mm. Went to three finals all, all three years. Saw him make clutch shot, game winning shot. So I'm not surprised, Skip. This notion, and like I said, you perpetuated this. You peddled this for the longest time that LeBron James is not clutch. But this is what we did. When take, taking a tying or go ahead shot, when trailing in the final 10 seconds of their careers, I want to repeat this, make sure I'm reading this correctly. When taking a tying or go-ahead shot, when trailing in the final 10 seconds in their careers, Kyrie Irving is 25%, Kevin Durant is 26%, LeBron James is 28%. This notion that you have perpetuated and somehow convinced the mass public that LeBron James is unclutch and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant is more clutch is just not true based on the numbers. Mm. Men will lie. Women will lie. Even kids sometimes will lie to get what they want. Mm. You can't lie on these numbers. Mm. It is what it is. LeBron James has made more game-winning or game-tying shots in his career than Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Mm. But He's I also played way, 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 way longer than either. So he should, his percentage mm. should be lower. since He, he's he has taken, missed the most late shots of anybody ever. But let that sink in. But he got a higher percentage. Mm. So he can't be that bad if his percentage, you taking less, but your percentage is, low, is lower than me and I've taken more. Mm. Shouldn't it be the other way around? But let me, I just want to know one thing. Had the situation been Anthony Davis takes that shot, LeBron James gets the rebound and takes a 12-footer, you said the greatest mid-range shooter in the history of the game. Mm. If LeBron James had clinked that very shot, mm -hmm. what would you have said? Well, at what point in his career? I just called on time. Yeah. Kevin Durant is in year 14. Uh, has he ever played with Kyrie before? They, 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 who you playing with when you shoot uh. skip? When I'm catching the pass, I ain't like, you know what, John Elway's not throwing me this pass. Let me drop it. Oh, this guy not throwing me this pass. Let me drop it. Okay, Kevin that's different. You're just reacting. He, he has to make the call to throw you the ball. No, no, no. You don't Ke have to make the call. Kevin, to Kyrie, everything. Nobody throw Kyrie the ball. Kyrie, they brought it. Kyrie had the ball. He danced with it. Pulled up with a three. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant got the ball. Ain't nobody passing the ball. Kevin mm -hmm. Durant got the rebound. Mm -hmm. And he's shooting from 12 feet. This ain't about no offense. This is not about running a mm -hmm. set. You got the ball from 12 feet. I yep. just ask you a simple question. Mm -hmm. In year 14, if LeBron James missed that very shot, what would you have said? I would say what I've always said about him, no clutch gene. So, so KD you know? got no clutch gene. Mm. All I know is I watched Kyrie Irving in a game seven at Oracle against the Warriors win LeBron a ring by making a last shot that won the game. So we're not gonna do it. We, so we're not gonna do anything about that 80 run that LeBron went on by himself when they were down. Mm. We're not gonna do anything about that in the fourth He's quarter. He's really good at that, but Kyrie <laughs> is really good at that. What about that block? Okay, why did Kyrie say what he said? The quote that you read. Kyrie well, said what, the earth is flat. Okay. The the point was. What he didn't say in that quote spoke volumes with high volume because he did not mention LeBron. You would have thought he would say other than LeBron to end the quote. Right. No, but he didn't say that. He, didn't he say left that. him out because he does not believe LeBron is a last shot taker maker. Just okay? because you don't believe it doesn't make it true. Okay. I'm, I'm just telling you he knew what Kyrie is not anybody's fool no, about this. No, no, like, no. he's a smart young man. No. I know he's got some wacky theories, but he's got <laughs> depth to him. Yes. He has high IQ. He has high intellect. And he knew exactly what he was saying. That's the first time in my career where I got to look around and say, wait a second, that guy can make that shot just the way I can yeah. make that shot. My thing is, and, and people thought I was taking a shot. I'm not taking, I understand. Mm -hmm. Nobody, Skip, if you make, if you take those kind of shots and you make 30%, you were all world. This notion that people make 50 and 60% of game tying and game winning Nobody shot, does. Nobody Jordan does. Didn't. So I, I, and so people thought I was taking a shot at K. All I'm saying is, is what Kyrie said. Okay. Is that they can make those shots. Okay, that was your time. Had LeBron missed that shot. 
Okay. I don't know how many guys. Obviously, was... Kevin Durant's first go around with the Warriors. Yes. After he joined forces with yes. the team he had down three to one yes. in Oklahoma City. In game three in the King's Palace yes. up in Cleveland, Kevin Durant made the shot of shots. He shot a three right in LeBron, like he just walked right into a three yeah. right in LeBron's grill and made it, and it, it, it won the game. It flipped yeah. the game. Yeah. Okay. So that's when I sat back and said, wow. That's a big time yes. shot. He made two, and he followed up the okay. final. Even though they were ahead, the next year he made another big shot. But Skip, you're talking about two shots. How many of those has he taken? Okay. That's what. See, we don't. We, we when LeBron right. make that game win I against Orlando or the Chicago or Indiana or P Toronto, we don't. We get nobody mentioned that. Okay, now. Kevin, Kyrie are thrown together. They're playing together for the first time as Brooklyn Nets. And I will give you this. They have been a disappointment so far after a sensational 2-0 start. Defense. Now, now they're, and they're playing high-level <laughs> defense. They're playing detonating defense to start with. Yes. All of a sudden, they started resting on their laurels, and they're not playing with the passion on defense that they used to. So they have fallen to three and four because they've lost four out of five. You told me that you call him Antony mm -hmm. because there was no D in his no, name. He's the and, assistant coach. And yeah. what did they... What and, did they and Steve Nash is... His prodigy, his prodigy. Yeah, his was his guy. Yeah. All right, he, so what yeah. did they? What did? What did? What did he always preach? Mm -hmm. They go outscore everybody. That's what he had. It. That's what he tried to do in Phoenix. That's what he tried to do in Houston. Everywhere he's been, okay. he's always tried to outscore. Okay, I got it. So first year head coach, first time ever head coach, Steve Nash, not known for playing defense continues to say, I want them to figure it out. Well, what did Kyrie say just, just a few weeks back? He said, we don't really need a coach, <laughs> right? Okay, so Steve Nash is kind of going with the flow, like, mm, I'm, I'm going to stay out of the way here. I'm going to let them slowly but surely figure it out. See if they get thrown into these last-second shot situations and see if they can figure out how to play off each other. Well, right now, and I watch every Nets game, in, in the closing situations, they're looking at each other like, are you, you going to do this or am I going to do this? Which is not the way. You, right. you, you need to have a plan. You, right. you need to have something that will work that you can fall back on. If if they double one or don't double the other, you need to know where to go. So Think, think about what you saw in Golden State. Every big shot that needed to be made, mm -hmm. who had the ball in their hands? Steph Curry on that team was mm -hmm. a two-time league MVP yep. skill. No, I agree. Kevin Durant. Took those big shots every in those time, finals. but it was because Steve Kerr put his foot down and said, "We are going to run plays for Kevin in With that Phil. situation." Steve Nash needs to stop trying to be okay. like like Phil Jackson. Yep. Everybody want to be Phil. Let them figure it out. Yep. Scotty and Michael will figure it out. Shaq and Kobe will figure it out. I agree, bro. Okay, call a timeout. All right. So what happened in this last sequence? Let's look at it one more time. So Kyrie dribbles it up and he dances and and, yeah. and he creates a he shot. He got a good look. And it, and it was a it was, it was a, a clean great look. look. You know, like he danced and got a look and he back irons it, and then TLC goes up and back taps, shocking Kevin Durant, who's completely caught off guard because he thinks the game is over once Kyrie back irons it. He is not ready to shoot this shot, but it gets tapped right back to him. And he shoots an awkward sideways, leaning sideways jumper that he wasn't ready to create. Oh. He did not have it in his mind. He thought the game was over. I remember LeBron took one of those shots and it hit the back rim. You're like, LeBron, you hit the back rim? So what happens in the front of the rim? When has LeBron ever taken a mid-range jump shot no, in no, his no, life? Don't do that, Skip. I mean, he, he takes those fallaways, but- And, but, and make them. Yeah. And make them. Because yeah. he's see, like Mike. Like Mike. You see the three? <laughs> How many game-winning threes has Mike yep. hit, hit, hit in his career? In 15 years, how many? Do I need to tell you how many of my guys hit? Who you want with the ball in his hands late see? in the clock? I think I'll take Jordan. You see? You see what you've done? Well, even just, though, even though LeBron has a better percentage making those shots, <sighs> you still want Jordan to have the ball. Uh, what happened at Utah in game six to close out his real career? Yeah. What, what happened? No, that's no real career. He just said, I'm going to go steal it in the corner from Carl Malone. I'm going to dribble it all the way up. Pippen's going to be over on the wing saying, I'm open. And, and he's going to go, no, so I got this. I want to know what Ryan man. Russell, he's going to push you off a little so, bit. He's going to go up and he's going to hold the pose at the. Oh, oh.